What is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? Before I get started this time, I have a little teensy bit of an announcement. Um, obviously, I have to go back to school. And so thanks to that, I'll still be looking at, you know, maybe I'll hit the lottery and all five of my roommates will just decide to not come back and I'll be alone in a two bedroom apartment. And so I can make one room, you know, like my streaming room and then one room, my actual bedroom. And they'll have kept all their computers, computers and monitors and stuff. And I can just tear them all apart and then build a supercomputer that will allow me to stream at like 9,680p or what, you know, whatever something amazing who knows maybe, maybe it'll happen there's a there's a very slim slight possibility uh it's not gonna happen but if it does happen then i'll be able to do some shit but it won't happen um and so because of that i am going to just try to blitz through as many of these as i can and get a good decent backlog of replay theaters and then of both this game and unist and then I'll just be able to post like one per week. So at the very least, I mean, like I'm going to run out eventually. I can't, there just aren't enough replays in both of these games. Not enough people are playing them currently to get enough replays to make it last the entire time. Um, but still, hopefully it won't be that long uh, in between me doing stuff. And yeah, so that's, that's all I got to say. So let's move on, straight on to the matches. And I don't have to bother trying to care about organization, doing the early... Oh, good golly. I didn't even know this was a taker color. That hurts my eyes. I had to get my eye to optometrist appointment today. Because I needed new, uh, new contacts. My eyes were dilated to make sure I didn't have any potential problems. And uh, I have a feeling this is going to damage my eyes, this taker color. It's an inkling. That won't actually happen, that's not how it works, but still. Ooh, I'm actually very surprised Jin did not recover in time to punish that uh, 2D. Hager got lucky. Ooh, he hit something afterwards. That was not a counter hit of the Atomic Collider. He hit something again. He's dead. Unless he bursts, obviously. But now it's unburstable. Second he got hit by that spark bolt, you didn't get to burst anymore. Good combo. It's very, very difficult to get hit by 3C after Gadget Finger, but Jin found a way. Like, basically the only... If you hit a button afterwards, which, why in God's name would you ever hit a button after getting Gadget Fingered? Um, Taker's anti-air, by the way. Functions really well as an anti-air. Uh, or if you just stand there. Like, if you walk backwards, you don't get hit. If you crouch, you block it. Uh, if you uh, just stand there, which is exactly what Jin did, you get hit. So, that was a little confusing, to say the least. This round is going rather poorly for our boy Tager. Empty jump. Into the low. Into the perfect. First round is Data. And Data has been acquired. Let's hope second round was data for the Tager. Oh, oh, he didn't confirm it, and then he didn't combo. Or, I mean, the command grab didn't hit because he didn't have magnetism. Good combo. Don't gadget. Okay, I like this Tager. Too many online Tagers. Even all, you know, like the leaders and whatever, they gadget finger. Even when their opponent's already magnetized. So whenever I see one that doesn't, I'm already like, all right, cool, I'm in this. Getting a little teabag action there, too. Why not? And Jid did not screw up that combo route this time. Last time, he didn't get the dash in there. And so, if you remember, the jump loop wound up being too far away. I can't believe that just worked. I can't believe he woke up with something other than Magnetech Wheel. If he had done Magnetech Wheel right there, he would have caught that air back dash. I'm actually surprised that I got him, to be honest. I thought Jen was going to be able to do something. Like, if he had landed in deep heat, I think that would have been the best option for him. And I'm surprised he didn't do that. But hey, we see a Tager win first round of the day. I'm happy. Yeah. 
I can't believe that wasn't a counter. Oh, I can't believe that was a counter hit. He recovers mad fast from 3C. But it still feels like that should have been a counter hit. Good pressure. Let's go, Makoto. I think that was uh, just too high up in the air to get a combo from. What a Hawkman player. What a Hawkman player. Amazing. All that meter and he doesn't... Actually, can you cancel and combo off of the Overdrive version of that? Oh my god. Like you can off of the normal version? I don't actually know that. Very nice anti-air though. I like his Makoto. Not a particularly big fan of the Hawkman though. Good parry! It's a good thing for him, this isn't CS2. Back in the days when that netted you like 5k or some garbage. S tier Makoto, fun times. CS games suck, changed my mind. She didn't dodge it! She could have! I cannot believe that hit good grab. Didn't pick and firm it. Bashes into a counter. Oh, come on, Makoto, please. You are not getting a parry. Idiot. <laughs> that DP was so good, and then she completely mucked it up. That's so sad. That would have been such an amazing ending. I should put it out there to the universe. <laughs> when I was looking through these replays, because I was trying to get as many replays as possible, I, I kind of lowered my standards a little bit. <laughs> but then I started finding profiles of people that had uploaded replays that were like level 33 with 42% win rates or something like that. It was like, that makes no sense to me. You just shouldn't be that high with a win rate that low. No way, okay. I was, I, like, there were so many times throughout that match that I was so ready to be impressed. I was just waiting for it, like, oh my god, I can't believe this is gonna work, show me. And then it didn't work at all. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> Those are the most disappointing kinds of matches. When you see something that you think is gonna be amazing, and then you just get nothing. You just get blue balled to hell and back. That was a combo. This is all a combo. Is she dead? Not quite. But that. Is she dead? Okay. Good block of the alpha counter. That was, that's some scary Izzyoi offense right there, man. George is still biding his time. As per usual. She just drops a new one. Throws it back in the bag and then tosses it right back out. What a fun character. That was just like... That wasn't even meant to catch a backdash. That was just a multi-layered mix-up that just so happened to also be good enough to catch a backdash. That's what I hate about this character and characters like her, where it's just like, you have one setup that covers everything. Are they blocking high? Cool, you get a second overhead afterwards. Are they blocking low? Cool, they're still blocking and you get to do something afterwards. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. If they're blocking low, obviously you get a hit and you go straight into a combo. If they backdash, you catch that backdash. Like, there's nothing available. There's no real situation that doesn't cover. And I'm sure 
given the way the character functions, that if, like, I don't think Rachel even has an invincible reversal at all, but if she's against a character that does have an invincible reversal, I'm sure she could probably block out of it too, because that's just how Izioi works. And it's just, why, why are characters designed that way? It's tilting. That offense was pretty suspect. I wonder if she missed like an instant air dash or something. <sighs> the defense is pretty suspect too. Good god. Ooh, I, I am watching a Marakamo unit, right? Like, surely she's not this hopeless and neutral against Rachel. Because it looks like I'm watching Tager versus Rachel right now. With how this Lambda is just sitting back and doing nothing. Wait, is she really just this hopeless? Can she not press buttons, period? I think she's just pressing the wrong buttons, but I'm not going to pretend to be an expert of this character. That is indeed a punish. Surely that could have led to a kill. 50 meter plus in the middle of overdrive? That was frightening. Like, there I can understand if there wasn't anything she could do. Because, again, she's a Marakamo unit, and her really her only good defensive tool is pretty much nullified in the corner. I guess she has two. Her back dash is really good, but the reason why it's really good is because of the distance it covers, which is obviously an irrelevant feature when you're in the corner. But then she also has that flip thing that she does that has a little bit of invulnerability in it, but that is also nullified because a big factor is that you use that invulnerability to then kind of get away and make and uh, create some distance between yourself and whoever you're fighting against, which again, in the corner, that doesn't happen. So she was definitely between a rock and a hard place. Speaking of, this Hazuma, that <laughs> traded! Kagura just took the win and he went on a little bit of a vacation. He enjoyed his time abroad, but he's back. Ozma woke up, Kagura found out, he cancelled his plans. He's back to kick some more ass, oh my goodness. Gets caught by it, by it, okay. Is he dead? Doesn't look like it's that good of a starter. Okay, gets the command grab. I don't think he really gets this much for this off, out of overdrive. Yeah, that was pretty useless. Okay. I was waiting for him to fall all the way back down into a combo. Are we gonna see a Kagura Astral? Nope. He's just gonna eat some flames to the dick. It's a bad way to go out, to be honest. From Hazuma vs. Kagura to Kagura vs. Hazuma. Alrighty then. I do not like that Kagura color. Ow! I mean, far be it from me to complain about watching a Hazuma get cut up. God knows I enjoy it. But, they could at least put up a little bit of a fight in what I have to imagine is a ridiculously advantageous matchup for Hazuma. That was good spacing of that combo. He may be dead. Nope. This Hazuma is terrified of the BP. Good air throw. Speaking of might be dead, I think he is. Oh, nope, screwed that up. Now he's definitely dead. 
really no way to screw this one up. But it is net play. Players tend to find a way. We got full awkward. What a combo. Oh my god. This Kagura is just flailing away on one button. <laughs> okay, wake up command, grab his Hazuma's a new one for me. Haven't seen that one before, but apparently it's a decent option. Who knew? <laughs> what has happened in this round? Drops that combo route again. They went from like pretty good play in the first round overall to just full on like this is my first day playing and I'm just gonna press buttons and see what happens. I don't even think there were any combos, were there? There were a couple drop ones. Fair and balanced hitboxes right there. What a reset, he's gotta be dead, right? Right? If he pops overdrive, nah, that's a big chunk. But his overdrive supers do a big chunk. I don't know. Oh, he's gonna get a free punish of that. Definitely dead now. Easy combo, easy win. That second round was weird, man. <laughs> I do not understand what happened during that. I think I'm gonna stop these. At 20 minutes, just so I get more of them. Not a good DP, and this is gonna be a huge punish. I think 6C is Hibiki's best starter. I mean, obviously, you can see the damage that he just got from that. It is definitely one of his best, for sure. Good chase down. Blasted through the clone. Smacked it. Ooh, no punish, though! Netplay special! Nobody ever gets hit by that in ideal conditions, but this is Netplay. We don't care! This is the land of gimmicks, and they work. And that leads to a full confirm. Man, I know so little about Tsubaki. Didn't... What's his name? Is he like Conan or something like that? Japanese Tsubaki player. Didn't he do pretty well at the Arc Revolution tournament? I feel like I remember seeing him in top 8. But I may be wrong. I think Biggie's dead. She didn't have any meter, but she gets it anyway. Okay, never mind. I didn't know she could combo into super off that. What am I doing? My posture is god awful right now. Jesus. I'm so bad at this. Oops. Maybe that's kind of cool. He needs to stop using his drive moves. I feel like that's happened every single time he uses them. No cross-up for you today, but the Tsubaki wasn't ready for it herself. I think the cross-up uh, killed whatever she was actually trying to do there. Fuck the combo. Gets DP'd again. This match has so many DPs. A 
They both have Astral available. Easiest Astral hit confirm you've ever seen in your life. Throw Astral. Does not get any easier than that. Battle Angel Subaki takes it home for the fellas.